Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations with a bonus video for you today outside of my holiday card series. We are doing the November Paper Pumpkin subscription. Um, this is the Mistletoe and Holly, which is the November kit, and it makes some really cute cards. You actually get supplies for 10 cards with the matching envelopes. Um, this is actually a really super fun, and they're actually really quick and easy to make. I actually already made uh, the samples that were in the kit just as they were instructed and then today's video is actually going to show you some alternatives um, it's actually only going to use the stamp sets rather than well it's going to use the stamp set and um, one of these little hollies as well but uh, I wanted to kind of highlight that there were other things that you could do with these kits outside of just the instructions that they give you because uh, you know a lot of times you have these stamp sets and then you don't ever touch them again but I wanted to show you that so today we're going to do that um, I'm gonna start out with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock which is cut at eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and then I'm going to use a piece of the designer series paper um, I believe this is the home for Christmas um, I will make sure that it's on the screen for you so that I have um, so I can give you the right information and I also have another strip here of, of um, cherry cobbler, which is one and a half inches by five and a quarter, which is going to layer right on there. Okay, so like I said, we're going to feature, we're going to kind of highlight the stamp set. So we're going to be using the Merry and Bright sentiment and the Holly. Uh, I do want to mention that starting this month, that uh, any of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, um, as a new program that I'm starting, um, you will receive every month that you are a subscriber of My Paper Pumpkin, you will receive additional projects um, in the form of a PDF. So they won't be videos, but you will receive PDFs of five additional project ideas. So they may be cards, they may be 3D items. It, each month will be different and they will feature things that you can do with the stamp sets or even the products that are within the kit if you decide you want to do something different. Um, and again, there will be a minimum of five, could be up to ten. It just depends on how many um, how many ideas we can get we can get rolling. So uh, what I just did is I went ahead and used my embossing buddy and I swiped that over my um, cherry cobbler and I'm going to get my Versamark ink out and I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to ink up the Merry and Bright first Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go right over here. I don't want it all the way over to the right side, so I'm going to go just a little bit over, not centered, but over to the left just a little bit. Actually, you could probably look to center that M from the Mary, and that would be good placement. And then I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to do the Holly. This actually comes together really, really quick. So then I'm going to just put this holly right over here, right above the bright. Okay, get those out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and emboss that with some gold embossing powder. And I keep my embossing powders in tubs, just makes it easier for getting it on there. Just kind of roll that in there. Give it a little tap. wipe off or blow off any excess. Hit it with the heat tool. almost done. So if you are not one of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, go ahead and head on over to the link that's down in the description box below, or you can even head over to my blog and you can click on the link from my blog as well and uh, sign up and you will get, uh, next month would be your first month then if you are not currently a subscriber. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. All right, so this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. We're just going to go ahead and um, layer that on with some snail. Okay. 
And I would actually also line the inside of this card with a piece of very vanilla. I won't for the sake of the video, just so we can get through it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this piece right in the center. I think I'm going to put snail on that as well. I'm going to keep that, keep it all level. Okay, and again, like I said, I'm just going to center that in the middle. And this would actually even be pretty just like that. Quick and simple. I'm going to go just a little bit further, and um, so I'm going to use a piece of the holly that's from the kit, but you could certainly use a leaf, you know, any of your die cuts, or you could even leave this step off if you wanted, um, and just put this down at the bottom. I've already glued it, so I can't, I can't show you, but you can, there are many options, so don't feel like you're limited in just this, and I'm just going to lay a little bit of snail on here. Okay, got some excess on there. Now I'm going to put that on there at an angle. Okay, and then I'm going to take a piece of the gold cording, and I just made a bow with that, and I'm going to attach that with my glue dots. And it's kind of big, so I'm just going to roll it over a little bit. Just kind of roll it in half. I'm just going to attach that to the back of the the knot and then I'm going to put it right and I'm actually going to center the bow and then if you want you can even put um, the red pearls on here I'm going to leave it actually I like it just kind of plain like that I was going for clean and simple so there is a card alternative for your paper pumpkin kit for November um, again, head on over to my blog for um, for links to the My Paper Pumpkin subscription. You can also find them in the description box below. And I hope that you will give Paper Pumpkin a try for $19.95, which includes shipping. It's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty good deal because this kit you get all the supplies for 10 cards and then you can easily use supplies that you have in your stash to make additional projects. Um, and before you know it, you'll have your Christmas cards done in no time. So thanks again. I hope that you like this project. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thanks guys.